This is Saturday, October 21st, 2000. The South Kingstown Rebels will be taking on the Portsmouth Patriots. The game is being played at South Kingstown Junior High School in South Kingstown, Rhode Island. The Patriots come into this contest three and two on the season. The Rebels are one and three. Kickoff has tentatively been set for 1.30 p.m. Temperature at game time is approximately 72 degrees with a slight easterly breeze blowing. Head coach for the Rebels is Bruce Tardiff and for the Patriots, Bob Montero. This is a Division I contest. Getting close to game time, the captain should be coming on the field shortly. And the captains for South Kingstown are number seven, correction, number 14, Tom Robinson, number 88, Chad Flaherty, number 56, Dustin Pino, and number 68, Josh White. And the captains for Portsmouth is number four, Billy Foley, number eight, Ralph Plum, number 33, Sean Peters, and number 53. Well, I don't see a 53 on the roster, but it's probably 54, Sean Clifford. Portsmouth will be kicking to South, who will be defending the South goal. And it's almost 1.30, and kickoff is imminent. The national anthem just completed. And Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's game. Portsmouth Patriots against the South Kingstown Rebels. It's a beautiful day out there. Light northern wind. Cover first and ten Portsmouth on the Rebels. Portsmouth gets the ball on South Kingston. Six yard gain to five six yard gain. goes incomplete, we'll make it third and fourth from about the 45-yard line. 
Put that in complete pass. It'll bring up third and four. Down is going to be a little short. It'll be fourth down, fourth down, and about three. Doesn't quite make Going for it. Looks like it's going to go on south movement, and that will be a first down for Portsmouth against the Rebels. It costs them five. The Rebels and it does give Portsmouth. Going to give Portsmouth, Portsmouth a first down. The spot of the ball is at about the 30 yard line. Flag on the field, stand by. I think that's, I think that's exactly Roughing the passer. Yeah. It's a 15-yard penalty, and the spot of the ball will be in about the 14 yards. The yeah. Pickup of about four yards will be second and six. Portsmouth gets in the end zone. Touchdown comes at 8.34 in the first quarter. Score is 6 to 0. Portsmouth. And the extra point after is good. Makes it 7 to 0. Portsmouth. And the Patriots will be teeing up the ball. Kicking to the Rebels. First and ten from about the 35 yard line. A return of about seven yards. First and ten self. Hand off to Carter, a little on, no gain on the play. It'll be second down. Smith stops him again at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down. Portsmouth stacks up the line. Yeah. It looks like Logan. Tom Robinson goes Robinson to the to air. It's Gavin Logan Gain for about, about an eight yard yards game. Short of the first down. Uh, actually, it's about two yards shy. It'll be fourth Brings down. Brings up two. fourth and two. The <laughs> Gavin Logan gets good distance on that kick. Logan gets it out to about the Patriot 25-yard line. It'll be first and ten. Portsmouth, 22 yard line and a 6.51 remaining in the first quarter. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Patriots are going to be pushed back inside the 10 to their own 9-yard line. Great opportunity for the Rebels here. Patriots, and it cost them. Brings up first down and 24 yards. 
to go. Pass is complete. Dark to the end, back on by Gavin Rogan. It'll make it second down. Pick up of about 10 yards on that last play. Out to the Patriot 19 yard line on the pass completion by Plum. Sean Peters penetrates into it's about 35 yards for the Patriots and into Rebel territory, the first and 10 Patriots at the Rebel 47. Forty-seven yard play for the Patriots. Bobbled and fake. has to run it. It's going to throw and it's going to be incomplete. And the point after goes incomplete on a bobble snap. Grady back deep for the Rebels to receive. Plum kicking. We can do that. possession deep in their own territory be first and ten south from the yard line and Robinson And Rebels a little no gain on that play and got back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, picked up actually one yard. It'll be second and nine. Yards, Down and eight for the Rebels. And the spot of the ball is about the 17 yard line. And the pass goes incomplete, out of the way, brings it fourth down. In the field, I think it's going to go against Portsmouth. Stand by. Interference against Portsmouth. Going to cost, cost, cost Portsmouth 10 yards. And it'll be a Rebel first down. Let's get new life here late in the first quarter. First down. gain on that play, makes it second down. Looks like it's going to be, the pass was complete to O'Grady, but it may be a little short of the first down. O'Grady with the catch. Third and about one. Nine yard gain, gonna be about Nine one. Nine yard gain, it'll be third and one. Third and one on their own 41 yard line.
Looks like the Rebels did pick up the first down on that play and they hand off to Cotta. And looks like they're going to move the sticks. A measure? Let's see. Looks like they're taking a measurement out there. The ball is at the 42-yard line of the rest. Touchdown comes at 111 in the first quarter for six points up for Saul. Score is 13 to 6. At the point, that was no good. Score remains 6, South Kingstown, 13, Portsmouth. Portsmouth blocks the ball. Plum is a little slow getting up for the Patriots. 13 to 6 with about one minute left in the first quarter. There'll be no return on that kickoff. And the Dante Solori falling on it for the Patriots. First and ten and about their own 27 yard line. First and ten Patriots. Caught in the backfield, and I think probably thrown for a little bit of a loss, but not much. It'll bring a second down. One yard loss for Ports. And that's the end of the quarter with the score 13 to 6 in favor of the Portsmouth Patriots. With that play, Portsmouth has the ball to open up the second half. It's second down and about 11. First play of the second quarter. Going to bring the Patriots to about the Rebels 45 yard line. Into Rebel territory strike. at the Rebel 45 yard line. First and 10, Portsmouth. No suit for Portsmouth. They get pushed back, actually, for a loss of yards by South Kingstown's defensive line. Josh White on the initial stop. And a loss of about a yard on a play. It'll be second and 11. A quick pass. Gives the Patriots about five or six yards. It'll be third down and about four. The six yard stop. gain on the play. And stop that Portsmouth receiver right in his tracks. It'll be third down and four. That play will bring up. <laughs> Movement all over. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be uh, flag on the Patriots. play. Patriots five Patriots yards. Patriots front line jump. Still be They'll third be down now. Back five yards. Nine. So about the Rebels. Is just inside the 45-yard line of the Rebels. Portsmouth coming to the ball. It's a fumble. Fumble on the snap. South Kingstown recovery. At their own 46 yard line, first and 10 south. <laughs> Logan picks up about a yard on that play, and it'll make it second down and about first one. To Gavin Logan second down and nine. <laughs> Logan alludes a couple of tackles as Great the pass is completed and gets into 
Patriot territory at about the 35 yard line, first and 10 Rebels. Hand off to DC Carter. And little no gain on that. Nothing in the middle for Darryl Carter. This will be second down and 10. <laughs> Movement, stand by. It's going to go against the Patriot, uh, Rebels, I believe. Now, Push it back second to the 40 down and In about 15, or a long 14. Bring up second and 15. And the ball will be spotted right at the 40 yard line. several tackles and gets to the 30-yard line, a pickup of about 10 yards. Yeah, then Logan It'll be third down right over the field. Seven minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the first half. Attempt goes to Flaherty, incomplete. Makes it fourth down. Looks like the Rebels are going for it. And it's knocked away. Pass is incomplete. And the Patriots will take over. Pass knocked away. Turn over on deck. Patriots will be first and ten from their own 35-yard line on a turnover on downs. Complete, but there's a flag on the field. Stand by. Clearance of Seller with a cost of ten. They get the Patriots a first down and moves the ball to their own 45-yard line. 7:04 remaining in the third quarter. Uh, correction, second quarter. Josh White on the sack of Ralph Plum. A loss of about 10 yards on that play. Josh White kicking it up a notch, really putting yards on that play. We'll make it second down. And about 18. Bring it up to about the Patriots original line of scrimmage. Get back to the 45 yard line, original line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and 10. Plum eludes several tackles. And gets into Plum breaking tackles in the back Rebel territory at about the 45 yard line, but not enough for a first down. Runs about nine yards for the Patriots. It'll be fourth down and about one. Bring be a timeout on the field. <laughs> Looks like they want to measure. Stand by. Patriots want to measure. Looks about a foot shy in the first down. Rebel saying no. It's about a foot shy. It'll be a fourth down. And obviously the Patriots will go for it. 526 remaining in the first half. Score is 13 to 6. Patriots.
called, no flags. But the spot goes in favor of the Patriots to say he broke the plane. Refs say he broke the plane and he's the first down. The spot of the ball is at the Rebel 46 yard line. Pete is brought down Don't by Mike forward and takes about a yard of gain. Little or no gain on that play. Makes it second and ten. Oh, whistle, stand by, stand by. Could be the whistle ball. before the snap. It's the four minute warning, four minutes remaining in the first half. Inside the Rebels 30 yards. Rokos falls inside First the Rebels 30 yard line. The play will be coming back. It's holding against the Patriots. Really time to uh, the second down. down pass. And 11. It's going to be second down now in about 21. Uh, 19 yards. Portsmouth back in their own territory. It is second down now in 21. 342 remaining in the first half. Defensive line of the Rebels really standing no up. No gain for the And the Rebels Patriots. stack them up. Caught by the interior line of the Rebels, it'll be third down. Brought down after picking up a couple of yards. It'll be fourth down and about Matt Thorell. 19, 18, 19 for Portsmouth. And I believe they're going to kick it away. Looks like that punting team is coming on the field with 2.45 remaining. Patriots going to be time. Logan and O'Grady back to receive. Made 20 yards on that play, and there's a little over two minutes remaining in the half. It'll be second down now. It looks to be about 13. 27 yard line of the Rebels with 151 remaining in the half. Pass goes incomplete. It looks like it was deflected off somebody's helmet. But it'll be trying to get loaded. Pass is complete to Brian. Moving to the right, hits Lucas That stops the clock, and it looks like there's a flag on a the field. A late flag on the play. Holding against the Rebels. The it's going to be a hold back. against South King. Every call, call is going to be declined. declined. It'll bring up fourth and about four for the Rebels. And it'll bring a fourth down for the Rebels, and I believe they will kick it away here. With a minute and 14 remaining in the half.
shows 48 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Production in the first half. Hand off up the middle for a short game. Play goes up the gut for a short game. And that's the half. And that's going to be the last play of the half. With the score, 13 to 6, is about to open up with the captains coming on the field. And again, just as a reminder, uh, the score is 13 to 6 in favor of the Patriots. Open up the second half, and the Rebels will be doing the kicking. Patriot territory. It is now second down and ten. Looks like it was a double reverse. A fumble. Patriots recover. Right after the well, fumble on the handoff. Patriots. close to a first down. He might have gotten it. See what his spot. Uh, nope. Ball short, will be spotted the at the Rebels' 40. Down and along one for the Patriots. And the spot of the ball is somewhere around the 38 and a half, 39 yard line of the Rebels. Third and six. Bring up third and six to the Patriots. Breathing room to the Rebels. Ten minutes and 51 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Pass goes incomplete. It will now be fourth down. Patriots will be kicking it away. 
Plum will have the honors. Breaks it again, gets up to Gavin about the 35 yard the line, and returning line, about 25 yards. It'll be first and 10 Rebels. 32 yard return for Logan, first and 10 Rebels from the 35. Motion to the backfield, handoff goes to Gavin Logan, who will pick up a couple. Logan picks up three. It'll be second and seven. Robinson on the keeper picks up a rebel first Tom down. Robinson first he gets to midfield. Right the pick up of about ten. twenty yards. He's going to pick up the first down. Rebel. Pick up of about ten yards for Robinson. Gets down to the rubber 48 yard line. Turns what could have been a bad situation into a rebel first down. Logan almost breaks it. Logan brought down by rebel his first down. Good run now. That was close. Got him just by the arm. There was no one else around him. And it's another first down for the Rebels at about the 38 yard line. Carter will pick up a yard, but that's it. Second and nine. It's not quite enough for a first down, but very close. The spot of the ball is at the 31 yard line. It'll be second and above. Part of the fullback bringing just two. shy of the first down mark. I believe it's enough for a first down. See where the spot comes. And off Staccata. And he does pick up the Rebel and first he does down. Get the first down. The spot of the ball is about the 28 yard line now for the Rebels. Rebels moving the ball, the ball very well here in the midway through the third quarter. Logan picks up about three. Logan will pick up three on that one. The scoreboard shows 6.52 remaining in the third quarter. Option, Logan gets chased out of Patriots bounds. Patriots put on great uh, pressure and stopped it. I think he originally got back to the original he, he got back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll be now second down and still seven. That will be Bring third, up down third and almost ten for the Rebels. Third and nine. Spotted the ball, lost two yards in the field. Hit as he lets it go. Ooh, that's an upset for South Kingstown. Where's that flag team when you Rebels will be going for it on fourth down. Lucas Bryant.
variety on the reception. And it looks like it might be enough. I don't know. They're saying Portsmouth will take over on downs. Peters goes right up the middle, but second he's got anything. Maybe a yard. Five minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Spot of the ball is at about the 22 yard line. Pass goes incomplete. Pass goes incomplete. Now for the Patriots, third and about nine. Pass goes incomplete. Joseph Bryany have the road to Bryant to finally bring it down at the 43 yard line. He takes up the first down though. Jay Flaherty and Gavin Rosen combined to make the stop. But not before the Patriots to get a nine, to get an eight yard rushing strike. And about four. Logan on the tackle, but not before the Patriots make a first down. The spot of the ball is at the rubber 44 yard line. First and 10. Personal foul penalty will be assessed against the Rebels, who I believe are close to 100 yards of penalty time in this game. There's a flag penalty the play. flag flag. The signal touchdown and then through the penalty. The Hold touchdown on. is set. Touchdown comes off the board. And a holding penalty assessed against Portsmouth. It will cost them 10 yards. And it will now be still first down, but it'll be from the about the 13 yard line. Ball put at the 13 yard line. Down the back of the court, Portsmouth quarterback. And Portsmouth appears to have been thrown for a little bit of a loss on that play with a QB sack. They kind of that line. Flaherty. And back is Jake Flaherty. <laughs> the pass goes incomplete. Goes It'll make it third down. It'll be third down for the Patriots at about their 17 yard line. Little 
pick up just a few, bring it to about the 15 yard line. Bring up a critical fourth down the field situation. Goal or try to go for the first down. 32 yards, but they go for it. And that's the end of the third quarter. And the score remains 13 to 6 in a fairly hard fought contest by both teams here. Looks like they're going to try for the field goal. Yes, the field goal is good for Portsmouth. Makes the score 16 to 6. Portsmouth field goal is good. It'll be first and ten, Rebels from their own 20 yard line to open up the fourth quarter. Yard line. Gavin Logan goes wide outside and then gets pushed rebel. out. First down, I believe. Ten yard play for Logan. He gets out to the 30 yard line on that play. Picks up a rebel first down. Goes incomplete. Incomplete pass. The intended receiver. Tom Robinson will put it to Gavin Logan. Pick up about two on the play. Bring it. Patriots will pick it pick. off. Ready, we'll start with great field position at the Rebels 43 yard line. 44 yard line for the Rebels. Pass by Blum picked up the Portsmouth on the 20-yard line, but there's a flag on the play. Stand by. Back throw to the backfield, see how this one plays out. It's going to go against Portsmouth. The play's coming back. It's an ineligible receiver downfield. This will bring it back. It crossed Portsmouth a few yards. It's going to cost Portsmouth about 10 yards. It's a five-yard penalty. And it'll be first and 15 for the, Port, for the Portsmouth Patriots. The spot of the ball is at the Rebel 48-yard line. It remains first down. Pickup of about three yards on that play. And the pitch will result in about a three-yard pickup. Plum picks up about five yards. Brought down at about the 45-yard, 40-yard line. Pickle yeah, about five yards. Down in about eight. And officially on the clock, eight minutes and 28 seconds remaining in the game. Second sack of the day. 
Chad Flaherty on the sack. Herb Don has come at a better time for the Rebels. And pushed him back. Gonna push him back to the 46 yards. yard line. Fourth down. And fourth fourth down. down. From about the 47 yard line. So it's fourth and 14 from the 47. Looks like Fort Smith's gonna punt. Grady takes it on a run, returns about seven yards. It'll be first and two. Matt O'Grady's gonna be hauled down at about the 30 yard line. Tom Robinson gets sacked. Gonna cost him about three yards. Cost about three yards. It'll make it second down and 13. Ball comes loose and Portsmouth's gonna fall on it. Patriots take over. First and ten. The Rebel 22 yard line. First and ten. be brought down inside the 15 yard line. Pick up. There's a pickup of about five yards in the play. Up about eight yards on that play. And it'll be second down and two. And the spot of the ball is somewhere around the 12 yard line. No correction, just inside the 10 at the nine. on the field. I believe it's charged to the Rebels. Stand by. That touchdown comes at five. There's gonna be a flag on the play. It's a flag on the play. Stand by. The penalty is gonna go against the Patriots for insisting the runner or a push from behind. But in any event, the touchdown comes off the board. And it might cost them five yards. It'll be a first and goal for the Patriots. They're moving the chain. Despite It'll bring up first and goal for the, the Patriots. Ball is somewhere around the seven or eight yard line. First and ten, Portsmouth. I'm sorry, first and goal. In the fourth quarter, makes the score 22 to 6, Portsmouth. The kick is good. The kick is good, and Squam now makes 20, the lead 23 to 6. 23 to 6. The score is now 23 to 6, Portsmouth, with 5 minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the game. does go into the end zone. Ball goes into the end zone. Come on to the 20 yard line. Rebels First and 10. Rebels. 20 yard line. Oh. You guys saw that? <laughs> Almost another interception. Almost well, right off the chest. Right off the chest of Plum. He couldn't hold on. Pass was to. Pass attempt was to Flaherty. Bring up Almost second and ten for the Rebels. But it brings the second and ten to the Rebels. With just under four minutes, approaching just under five minutes remaining. 
37 remaining in the game. Get him at the nine, maybe 10 yard line. <laughs> Lucas Briardy with the pick. Briardy gets the pick for the Rebels, and Rebels will take over first and 10. Rebels will get a first five. down at their own five yard line. Brings it out to the 17-yard line for the Rebels. Gets out to the 17-yard line, picks up a Rebel first down. Lucas Briardy brings it out almost to the 30-yard line. Falls just shy. They're going to spot it. Tom Robinson will move, going to complete the pass to Gavin Logan. That one looks like it'll move the chains, and it does. Bill Cox knocked away at South Kingston by the Patriots. Clock shows 37 seconds remaining in the game. Second down and 10. Play. 26 seconds remaining on the clock. Six. Loose ball, but they're calling it down by contact. Rebels retain the possession at the Rebels retain own possession. Right. And that's the game, and that's the game. Circle the wagons, this game is finished. We'd like to remind you to drive home safely. I hope you enjoyed the game.